Tokyo and reformed. And as they're running around the sidewalk, we don't know if it's going to be one person or two. We confirm at least one. As the second one now with that frenzy is going to be reformed. EG branded just from behind though as they're pushing aggressively on the other end for Evil Geniuses. And we knock them all down quite fast for the Pittsburgh Knights. Leaving only one, a full diffuse coming in. It's looking pretty safe, especially with the kind of play the 2-1-2. Two, two, just kind of had that sweep kind of in the back defending spawn. And that attack on Cat okay. actually does take down pretty low. That's kind of scary for him. Yeah, Sheriff through the wall and Frosty to open up but to Branted. So that's one defender. Then down oh. with Roka to fall as well. So that's another player that's going to be very low on HP. Rota you might even want to save, but you see this yeah. door being red. They might want to go for it. A recon dart to get a or shock dart to get a kill. And man, that's going to be it. They it's a thing. Oh, with that cosmic defy, I think it's kind of insured now. Yeah. It's huge right now, and I, I love it, actually, because they've been doing such a good job for Evil Geniuses, or should I say for Knights, to grab these orbs. So they have nothing to retaliate for Evil mm -hmm. Geniuses. No Hunter's Fury, so you get into the site super fast. You can't really jump out. Claris on the top of Heaven, that clock's ticking down. If you don't get an early kill here with Bo, you're saving your weapons for sure. And now that he gets pinged out, nobody's shooting it out for him, so they're just, unfortunately, not having some good communication on these, uh, on these holds and retakes. Yeah, it definitely seems like it's been a bit disjointed. And I feel like in a lot of these situations, they're just set back so much so early that it's so hard to recover, even yeah. if you make the right decisions, because just the man count just not there. You're way out of position. Like you said, you don't really have the utility in play. You're battling up against a couple of alts where you have none of your own to counter. Uh, and when you're going to see this rotate, expect this Killjoy ult. Expect also the Seekers. This is going to be very hard for the Knights to hold things back. With two players, at least for Knights, on the A side of... Uh, sorry, on B main. We'll have to see if they can hold it back. Now there goes that lockdown. Forces out the Hunter's Fury towards B main. It's going to cancel it out. A Frost Orb inside B main as well to not allow Roka to push through. And finally he flashes forward. Both players now inside this B site on the attack. Roka's trying to hold it down, and we get the defuse in finally for EG. Yeah, it's always going to be tough for Knights, like you said, right? Astra, so still, Reform's going to have a big job in his hands here inside the spawn site. Fo at least is able to take down Zip. That was a spike down, 30 seconds left on the clock, and a smoke allows for Knights to get into the B site to get a plan. And look, at how, it's interesting where they plan it right now. I'm assuming that they're playing these for, like, wall bangs or something like that onto late mm -hmm. lurks on mid side, but the late lurks on mid side are getting dispatched as well. Now a flash around the corner. Big one as Reform gets that pick. Courtesy of Broca's flash, and Scuba is going to be the last one to fall. A beautiful retake in the end. The initial peak, then fall back, and try to let Vance op pop off. And that's exactly what's going to happen here. Huge pick. That's Broca from Generator into A main. I'm pretty sure that was through smoke at the same time. Forcing out the Blade Storm is going to be Ban has the op too. But look at this stack going through. They'll never expect Boosty on the top of the boxes, and man, they are holding it down quite well until now. Uh, a different type of stack right now for EG, as they had Ooh. four. We're able to get that multi prong split here, as that spike's going to go down. Main advantage as well for the post plant. There's Cosmic Divide, they're trying to push them out of the site to use it on towards A lobby, so this is going to be a really tough retake for EG. Even with this wall bang from hell, unlucky. So Roka gets dropped, and there's a knowledge zone that's also going to ping reform towards tree side, so we know at least one player is rotating from EG towards tree. They haven't spotted Branton yet, and that's why he gets two kills. Then our trade comes out for Reform to drop Ban, as Ban finally is trying to even up that tally. A two versus two. That spike is still up. We still have a player posted towards A main, and that's going to be the kill draw on the attacker side. And that is going to be Frosty going to work. We talked about a loose mid control dust, and this time oh we actually God. have a turret up, but it's still going to be Ban getting the first blood on the foe. Like is that not the second round in the row they've done that? At least well, second. At least yeah, second, I mean, yeah. that is so devastating to not only get up middle, but then you're, you're just trying to jiggle peek check it, and then you okay. get caught. So it's, Good trade. But at least Roka able to exactly be responsive, get out Cat, gets his kill, Reformed also able to get a kill out in middle as well. Oh! But the response is so swift. Back to a 2 on 2 is who still has to just live, right? Oh, well. <laughs> no. I mean, again, you really kind of want to play out the 2v2 retake when you have the lockdown available, and now instead, yeah. you've left it all up to your killjoy to try to do this. So good. He taps it, so he forces out both players. He tries to line them up, but they split. Just kind of getting a lay of the land. We'll get the tag on the killjoy here, and they take down the turret. Oh, that's huge. Oh, daggers miss. Yeah. And Busio staying in the back of the site, but because of all that, too, we're trying to see this rotate coming out from the Seekers, so Roka pops them out. 
two players inside that site. Make that all four players of the Knights inside the site. But already at logs, it is going to be Roka pushing forward. He spots Governor, but Governor doesn't fall. He's just trying to bait out the shots, trying to get the information, and Roka knows even better. He's going to get the wall bang and the kills, the force on a res, a recon guard in the back of the site to get more information. It pings a couple of players out, and a two wall bang from Foe. One back in the default site on a three versus two. The numbers are on the advantage side for EG. A trade off for a one versus one. Ban in the back of the site. The player we talked about trying to excel as this duelist does not commit onto the kill. And First half, a quadruple boost and a dash inside the site just to try to clear it out but it's going to be branded. That oh Spectre battles, but it did not pan out whatsoever. They got ripped apart. Now Busio on the flip. Finishing touches on this. Reformed will do the honors instead. By what was the difference? Knights pushing forward instead. But we are taking to the A site now for Evil Geniuses, but the HP is dropping so low. Busio makes it inside the site with only five HP remaining, looking for this recon dart. But at least we'll get a plant. That's a little bit of economy. At least they do have... Some good control of things. They got the door shut already. They're able to start backing back off in the A main. They have their Killjoy turret set up to watch the A rail cross. But yeah, they are a man down and they have a low HP player, so that could be tough. Turret, alarm bot, recon dart to just run that clock down to turret planet pretty much for that spike, but they finally break it down. Governor trying to clear it up. Rustio holding at the bottom. We're just pushing into A main, and it's perfect right now for the attacker side. It's actually a two versus one, somehow in favor of EG. A double swing, one by one. And we're trying to land those shots just for Governor. And G looking for a split from mid to B main. Recon dart in the back of the site. Wall bang onto Governor, and down by Reform. Frosty trying to hold the site on his own, and I'm sure EG heard him fall back in the back of that site. He still swings out for the headshot onto Busio. Shock darts on the ground, oh and my. still lands a second one. And they're peeking one by one, and at least finally Foe is able to drop him with that Sheriff. It's going to be a three on two, but still the advantage coming in for the Pittsburgh Knights. Oh, absolutely. They got so much. I thought they were in trouble because that Recon Vault did so much work with the spam kill. Hunter Fury now having to come out here. He is, he is stuck, Foe. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh my. It just really comes down. Double updraft into Gelato and it lands! It actually lands it onto Branded! So Boostio at least trades it back towards the name in off the generator, double updraft mm -hmm. in the front, looking for it. At least now Ben falls down. So we praise him for a beautiful kill, but he oh, gets no stopped right away. Now. Another one that gets locked, uh, should I say stopped? Yes, from a lockdown, preventing it to be planted, allows the last two players at least to come into an open site, though, as we're giving it up for the Knights. Yep. So Lee's going to find some information here, Dust. That's two players on the top. They spot the Odin, they spot the rifle. And now with that kill that just happened, you know the last two players are up towards Heaven's side. A trade-off, but Scuba's down to low HP. 76 for Foe. A jump on the top into the generator and a pre-fired shot. Foe's just going to play the time. Leaning out on the side. Scuba uh -oh. still left. There's the op and there's no smoke. There you go. I, it was going to be a huge position right now on this mid side, but at least they're able to make it through. Now they have to try to pass Frosty. Gradwell in the site, a debuff there onto Roka, and another battle onto oh Bustio that he wins. Now he lines up on the third, and that's no Killjoy ult, and a three versus one, and you don't get a plant here. You're sticking it, and Ban peeks out. Oof. Well, there's that lockdown for Retake that gets cancelled out, and we still have the one on the attacker side. So Reform trying to push forward inside the site. Tries to lay it down towards this corner, which is perfect. That's going to push all the attackers back towards spawn, unless they want to fight it right away. A ping to come out first, but I, I, I like it from EG at least, because after the lockdown, you know somebody's going to be playing or rotating back towards mid, at least because you force everybody else towards spawn. And you needed to win that fight for Scuba. But unfortunately, that's going to be boost you'll get... But the economy is still going to be looking pretty good. And also going to be the ults coming back for the Pittsburgh Knights, so... You're going to have to do the least mistakes as possible, but there's some still available for Frosty on that rotate. Off angle there from Scuba gets that Astra diff onto Brantit, so it's going to be a 2v2 now. Spike now, Planet. They're just pushing hard. There's just so much utility right now just to try to just... Oh, very some close. Point. When that spike gets taken down at middle, you start to fear the worst. Foe, it's a great entry, though, on Saban at middle. And then you have to give your props to Reform. He gets a big kill at middle. Basically takes B much. 
Ban has already rotated over the A-side right after, but they're still coming into here, and they get another opening. That's another rifle versus operator that's won by the rifle of EG. Hunter's Fury to come out here on the defense. I think it hit one of his teammates, but a battle of a late lurk towards mid is actually won by Ziff. Now a lockdown to come out at the same time. Do we have anything to try to stop it? No, we're just going to have to try to run out, and as they're trying to cross back over... Okay, did get destroyed. We did get shot darts. But Frosty still gets two kills with the Vandal. A res to come out. Busio stuck inside hell. It's a five versus two. He gets the first, but he gets traded out immediately. Branded on his own, spotted by a turret, and now also spotted by Scuba. He this B site is heavily defended. EG trying to pave their way, but Ziv hits a nice opening shot there. Broke Ooh. it though with such a swift response. Couple of big headshots will get them. B site control. Now just gotta clear out Ziff and Hookah. They do just that. Spike will now come in. They have a three on two post player, four on two, but two of their players are softened up. And they have no idea. Good star placement, but I mean, again, there's just so many members of EG that can go out and trade this. Being cleared so far towards the back of the site in a flash as soon as it comes out, but uh, oh my god, it was a snake bite actually that got a deep up onto two players, and now it's gonna be Frosty's time to be deep at the same time, so he's gonna get melted down to sub 50. Now you have the Trailblazer that actually hits him. Nice cloud burst though for him to stay alive, so that forces Ban to fall back. And he also gets pinged by something else. And we're looking for this wall bang. It connects for me for from showers. And another to fall at the APC. Underhand throw, but Roka swings out. And Ziff is They're ready for it. Governor has got back into the site here, holding in a good corner. We'll get the shot. Ooh. Roka though, quick the trade, gets it back into a two-a-two. Two. Guarantees the spike plant here. Maroka, 15 Ooh. HP on Scuba after a couple of shots. He gets a, his own wall bang with a dink and a wall bang onto Reform. And of course, he's swing on the last one. And nine by Foe. But this judge has come up huge. A big oh flank, a dink. Good old 140 on the Phantom. And there's that judge. Elise Roka answers back. Yeah, that's a big kill for Roka. Now he gets inside the teleporter, so he'll be able to catch the next rotator if another one does arrise. But uh, they've already yeah. gotten flanked a little bit through Sand, so it's like they can't really fall back. Lisa trades are still about to come out right now, and Governor, he's dancing out so well. And that's a beautiful combination to person execute. Well, there's another good entry by Roka, this time with the Sheriff. A Trailblazer that's going to hit Zip. They're going to swing off that. A Showstopper. Oh, Boost yeah. you. A Sometimes you just hit headshots, Vans, and that's you. Still want to take that time to uh, talk about that previous round, too, when you were, when you were saying how they were trying to watch these flanks or whatnot, and not really anybody's posted, and that's that's the beauty right now of a map like for a plant. Pushing forward is going to be Roka, though, and Ziff is just behind, but Roka still turns her over and gets the kill, but the Hunter's Fury does connect up to Roka, one coming out from the shafts of noise, and it's a vandal that they're spraying through, but it's going to be good enough. Oh boy. To give up and say, hey, let's go towards this B-side. It's perfectly well read by the Pittsburgh Knights to put out the Cosmic Divide. But here comes the execution finally, and it's getting held down quite oh, well by PK. Maybe. At least Governor is alive at Long B, and with 10 seconds left on the clock, but with this off low HP, lands that shot onto Scuba, but will not be able to see. But Seekers now come out. And everyone's here to retake already for the defensive side, but that's a big pick. Ooh, with that's the Cosmic so huge Divide. To get that. Yeah. And the, the Toxic Stream coming out, it's a cross, we're praying for this plant, we're playing for this round. And it's going to be BBG, sorry, it's going to be Pittsburgh Knights still on a rotation as uh -oh. Governor drops three, including the spike. Full once again alone. On initially a three versus one, going to be some aim battles. Off on Heaven, and it connects. Yeah. I'm out from Roka, so Bustio and Roka first to fall. Up in to Hookah as we didn't have any smokes going into the spawn side. Hunter's Fury to come out from Governor that lands on the Branton and finally those stars come out at least on the defender side and just nothing's working. Busio's just gonna try to hold W as much as he can. Almost getting all these left clicks onto a third kill, so he's doing as much as he could. It's a 2v. Well, it's a 3v1. <laughs> yeah. This spike flank now all of a sudden has no value because the spike's down deep with no time left at B. And that was really the big problem. They just didn't get the spike in B fast. That's the timing of it all. Yeah. And nothing to clear or at least disrupt vision on back side, but let's just cross that oh for boy. now. Let's turn the page into the action of this round. It's just... Oh boy, what a shot. Can't stop it. Ever since they picked up foes up, it's just been the crutch right now for...
less tidy than you want to be, and you're getting thrown in the chaos. It just makes it so hard to be efficient. Sort of adversary against our opponents, which wasn't the case in the past, but finally we're harping on EG a lot, but they finally get first blood, make that even second blood from Bustio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good job from Busio, punishing some aggression there. Roka as well, getting the response on Ziff, who was trying to help things along at B. Now Seekers can come out and each have a very strong attack leading into this B site. Band in a back, Jick. Dink through lots. This is great from Knights. Good grab well, though, to at least stop Ban from getting even more out of that. They maintain U-Haul control defensively. They'll double push out now. Ooh, Frenzy, wall bang, close range, well, but another one about the peak, and it's a double swing, but a flank from behind as well at triple. So now we have a 2v2, healthy players on both ends, and Owl Drone to spot one inside spawn, and that's Roka looking to fall back. And as he's doing that, they all... So he's going to go though. for this uh, gravity well so he can get into sight, a shock dart. Roka's covering the left side as he covered the right already, so this should be... The diff uh, I'm just going to keep casting. Yeah, this there you go. This should be the round for evil geniuses as you have foe get stuck shot towards the B side. Here comes down a recon dart. Booster just runs forward right into them. He oh literally boy. just got piled upon. Yes. He got straight wreck of two. You're dashing forward and you, the the time it takes to pull out your weapon does take a little bit. So if, if people are reacting fast enough, especially four players right there, it's not gonna happen. So nice. Oh. Winning the second round here. Sign control, we're waiting for that answer. It's gonna be EG Bustio to start things off though, and there's that side control on the opposite, pushing out forward towards the extremities. It's a re-hit, it seems like here, Dust. Yeah. Nice trying to throw some doubt, at least stop the over-rotation from Abe. Oh, big hit from Ban though, that evens it back up. I've got your trail. Finally, we do have at least reform inside the back site. Who gets what? dropped instantly. And Viper Spit's still there. Potentially maybe one more guided light, and you're gonna try to peek off one. Here it comes. There's one. You run in. No kills. Now makes it even harder for the defenders to retake. That's at least the first to fall. Granted drops the Viper, so it's a two ver or one versus one, and it's still good. Viper Spit is available at least for defense. Now as the Trailblazer comes out, we got a couple of trades towards this long side. Showstopper, it's in the sight. Who still gets the kill? Cancel. Great cancel of that, but still a trade comes out, and it's giving Knights a bit of space, but they still are a man down. So EG have a great opportunity here to build off this 3-on-2. Oh, we're pushing through the spawn. At least able to punish onto Scuba, and uh, that is now going to be Frosty on his own inside this site. A 2v1. They both peek towards this elbow side. Uh-oh. The spray through the walls, uh, Hunter's Fury to come out for showers, and with the gravity well, that's a huge gobble for EG, so Frosty's the first to fall, and that's all of the smokes, aside from the Viper, at least. Yeah, oh, that no. was some good snap, like, team play there to get that kill. Unfortunately, Ziff's able to respond so quickly, so just as soon as I'm praising EG, the use of Seekers. Oh, oh, oh. jumping inside that smoke, Roga trying to surprise Governor, but he gets punished. Oh, Even boy. he was jumping inside the smoke with his knife out. Yeah, I... Can't ever get behind that. A mm -hmm. spray from a phantom, so that's yeah, unlucky. Unfortunate. Yeah. Yep. So Brantid trying to move back forward. He does have cosmic divide, but they're opting not to use it. They just want to try to fight back for the overtime in the end for Xif. As now we're getting inside this site with the trailblazer to come out. Guided light in the back of the site, but Brantid still gets first blood into this round. He gets immediately traded out by Governor, though, and the Seekers are coming out on defense. We talked about that, Dust, and we're looking for some battles inside you, and it's a one-for-one one again. Spike is down. Boosty with the headshot. Another close range with this Poison Cloud on the ground, and Scoob is on his own. This... Mm-hmm. Oh, they're watching each other's backs and... and that's a really solid win for EG. Again, though... Money, st uh, Poison Cloud, and also now the Viper's Pit, but Boostio is so close right now with the Blade Storm. 
He's just so close to try to get these kills. He's waiting for this poison to finish, and there's that headshot off the zip. It gets traded off by Scuba. We're trying to stay alive for EG. A one-player advantage right now as a Cosmic Divide comes out on a defense. Ban pushing towards the back of the site, though. We still haven't got the plant yet because the Trailblazer is coming out. Now Frosty's still inside this Viper's Pit. We're looking to plant back towards the default spot of the APC as we get a regrowth coming out from this guy on the attacker. On his 3 versus 3 retake, though, that Cosmic Divide is about to disappear. Yeah, that was a good kind of divide because it was going to stop post plan at short A, but now it's gone, so that is giving Knights a chance to maybe put that to use. Let's still a man behind. Flash ready for Ben. Potentially a recon dart. Oh no, he's going to spot him. So that is going to be one down. That's no recon dart inside the site for EG. Two more. Make that only one. Brandon needed a clutch of three versus one.